A 72-year-old man, Chris Capel from Swindon, Wiltshire, was left stranded in the Philippines for weeks after his dream cruise set off without him. He had splurged £17,500 for a round-the-world trip that began earlier this year. However, halfway into the cruise, Chris started to feel nauseous and lightheaded, which he reported to the doctor on board. He was then sent off the ship for medical examinations and tests, and the test revealed that he had mild heat stroke. By the time he was done with all of his tests, the crews had already set off without him. He and his worried niece Karen Williams, 51, contacted the cruise organisers, who explained that he had a critical medical condition that made it difficult to return the absent passenger, as he also had a fear of flying. Doctors deemed him unfit to fly to Manila, so he had to take a boat back to Manila, but he could only be brought the rest of the way by plane, with medics escorting him. On Good Friday, Chris finally set foot on British soil for the first time in months. Chris, a retired youth worker, expressed his disappointment, frustration and anger at P&O and Nationwide for their lack of support and communication. He accused P&O cruisers of failing in their duty of care, first by leaving him on the island and now with all the secrecy about his health. He called the ordeal an absolute nightmare and terrifying at times. Despite everything, this ordeal has not put Chris off cruise ships entirely. However, future voyages would be less far away. Chris also expressed his disappointment that his dream holiday had been ruined, as well as the holidays of his friends who remained on the ship. A P&O cruiser's spokesman confirmed that they would cover the cost of returning his luggage. Despite this, Chris said that he felt mistreated by the company and their lack of support during his ordeal. He felt that one person could not have such power over his life to just leave him in such a mess.